Class 2A schools don't have soccer programs yet, but this could be a sign of things to come someday. In the meantime, we'll stick with American football. Number two, Glenrock at number five, Bighorn. First quarter, Glenrock wearing the white and purple. Sophomore Jordan Milley starting to make a name for himself as a six foot four, 195 pound sophomore. He checks in from six yards out to put his team up eight nothing after the two point conversion. Then the Herder defense played their hand early on. Connor McCafferty can't find anyone, and he wasn't fast enough to avoid being swallowed by the purple people eaters on this play. DC Hall and Taylor Yingling team up to knock the Bighorn QB off of his perch on the mountain, but things were just getting started and they would change down the road. The Rams would eventually get into the red zone, and although this play was rather snazzy, it counted for nothing. McCafferty with the option, finds trouble, pitches the ball forward to Scott Fasini. One little problem, McCafferty had already crossed the line of scrimmage, so it's an illegal forward pass, no touchdown. Bighorn had to settle for a field goal and trailed 8-3 to three after the first 12 minutes. Second quarter, the visitors were rolling the dice, going for it on fourth and one from the four. That's not much of a problem for Millet as he'll bust his way in for his second score of the game. Conversion no good, so now it's 14-3. to three. Now, while Glenrock is the top rushing team in the state, Class 2A, they can and will pass the ball on occasion. Here's Millet on the halfback option. Good adjustment by David Parkinson. A 35-yard pickup down to the seven-yard line, and the visitors were back in business again. About two plays later, Millie again from four yards, his third touchdown of the game. He's used to doing it the hard way. And the Herders go up 20-3 to three with about one minute to go before halftime. That was enough for the home team to put something together quickly, and they did. McCafferty lets her fly for 29 yards, and Lucas Wolleman almost did not have possession of the ball when he stepped into the end zone and out of bounds. But he recovered just in time, and the Rams would seize the momentum going into the locker room, down 20-9. to Third quarter, here's where Bighorn made their big move. And on this play, McCafferty's going to take matters into his own hands and give the opposition a dose of their own running medicine. The junior QB finds some room on the near sideline, cuts back, and his blockers were in the right place at the right time. He's busting loose for a 77-yard scoring run. And his team is right back in this game. Conversion no good, so they're still down 20 to 15. But they would recover the onside kick and strike again. McCafferty's looking for his favorite target, and that's Wollenman. He's got it, 39 yards. His basketball sibling at Michigan State probably liked that too. Two-point conversion good, and the Rams have scored twice in three minutes to take a 23-20 lead, and the opposition has yet to get possession of the ball in the second half. Fourth quarter, same score. McCafferty just got better as the game went on. Over the middle and 31 yards to Christian Mayer. That's touchdown number four. After being down 20-3, to three, the maroon and gold have taken over and now have a 30-20 to 20 advantage. The visitors had to get something going sooner or else they were going to be in big trouble. This is Devon Parkinson. He hits a roadblock on the far side, so he decided to go around the other way. He ended up getting 31 yards down to the three, and that was the boost that his team needed. Two plays later, Preston McLagan will call his own number and sneak in from one yard. No good on the two-point try, so Glenrock needed another touchdown, trailing 30-26 to with about four and a half minutes to go. Bighorn played it smart. They kept the ball on the ground and kept the clock moving. The Herders used their timeouts, but they could not stop the opposition from getting first downs. This run by Will O'Dell will seal the deal. The best way to stop a good offense is to keep them off the field. That was the Rams' plan, and it worked. Bighorn wins the battle of undefeated teams 30-26. to